<laughs> well, I'm back. I took like six videos with my GoPro, but it was in the waterproof case, and you can't hear any of the audio. And since I don't edit anything, I'm not going to be able to add audio after the fact. So uh, now I've loaded those videos on so I can go through them later, potentially add audio. But now, you know, this is August 30th, 7.09 p.m. Backstory here again is I live in Beaumont, Texas, Bevel Oaks to be exact, uh, about a mile or so from Pine Island Bayou, which crested at 31 feet and is currently somewhere around 37 or 38, probably receding now. Well over the historic high of 37 and a half feet in 1994. In 1994, you know, a, good, a, good, a good thing to mention, a lot of people are watching these floods and saying, why are these people here? Why are people getting rescued? You know, I left because I was able and I didn't want to end up on TV being that guy on the roof you know, getting people to come rescue him. All right, I was able to leave. I got up and left. I left my vehicles behind because we were told it would only be about a foot of water. Initial reports right now look like it's a lot more than that. But here's the thing. In 1994, Pine Island Bayou flooded. And all the notes and discussions I've had with people basically end up saying, yeah, there was beaver debris and stuff plugging up the bayou and then there were some uh, dam gates that they opened up that let even more water in and everyone's believed in their mind that that was the cause of that major flood back in 1994 and since then we've done a lot of work to clear those bayous out and I don't believe they opened the dams the dams we just Harvey just dumped so much rainwater so um, yeah right now I think the house is pretty bad off but I'm safe. That's my puppy, Layla. Hey, Layla. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she's safe. You know, staying up all hours of the night, not sleeping like she should. She usually sleeps about 16 hours a day is what puppies do, dogs do. But she's just been enamored with the rain and everything and won't go to sleep. And uh, I grilled some corn. My girlfriend over there chomping on corn. So, um that should be an official update that when I upload this you guys can hear um, like I said I, I don't have the ability to to edit and add audio um, on the run right now I'm on my my surface pro 8 like my very first surface pro 8 like mark 1 um, and I'm catching on some varsity blues great movie great movie so, uh, anyway, uh, if you want some more updates on, you know, how I'm recovering and probably a lot of other people are recovering from Hurricane Harvey, you know, click down, like, subscribe the video. Um, I also plan on keeping a lot of other stuff on my channel. Uh, I've got a 1976 Jeep J10 that I'm trying to rebuild. It's currently underwater right now. Uh, got a 1971 Porsche 914. I absolutely love driving around. I'll be repairing that now uh, when I get home. And then I got to figure out what's going to happen with my uh, 2009 911 because uh, it's got full coverage. But once it's submerged underwater as it is, I doubt the insurance company will want to continue insuring it. And yeah, we'll see how that goes and if I can continue to have it insured once it's repaired or if they total it. Um, so, um, that's it. My name's Phil. You know, come to my channel for Jeeps, Porsches, or Poodles. And uh, you'll see a lot more stuff of the rebuild in Houston uh, coming up.